My name is Jelan Sagir. I am a member of Solidarity, the People of Turkey, known as SPOT. Since the failed coup attempt in July 2016, the Turkish government has become increasingly authoritarian, heading towards a fascist dictatorship. It has waged a crackdown against political opponents, activists, journalists and public sector workers. According to Amnesty, at least 50,000 individuals were arrested in pre-trial detentions in 2017. HDP party members, including its leaders, were also jailed, along with more than 100 journalists and human rights campaigners on trumped-up charges. In the meantime, the UK has approved of £723 million worth of arms licences to Turkey, making it one of the largest buyers of UK military equipment. In 2017, Theresa May agreed for a £100 million deal for BAE Systems to support the development of Turkish fighter jets. BAE Systems is also involved in building attack vehicles, engine equipment and other aircraft. Turkey's bombing campaigns have targeted civilian dense areas of Turkey's Kurdish regions and its offences in Syria. In 2018, Turkey launched a military operation ironically titled the Olive Branch in Afrin, northern Syria. Up to 500 civilians were killed in the operation and 150 to 300,000 mostly Kurdish civilians were displaced. We condemn the AE for its support of Erdogan's regime and demand the UK government bans all arms exports to Turkey. We ask BAE to account for where its weapons are being used in Turkey and explain why it won't stop working in partnership with the Turkish government and its arms manufacturers, despite knowing that its weapons could be used to kill innocent civilians in Turkey and Syria.